Everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today, I went to the Monroeville Card Show, 240 tables in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. It's going on all weekend, so if you missed it out on it today, check it out tomorrow and Sunday. This is, I think, the third or fourth year in a row that I've been to this card show. There's always a lot of great sellers with a wide variety of stuff. We've got autographs, we've got jerseys, lots and lots of vintage, man. There is a ton of vintage cards at this card show. So I'm gonna stop at a few tables and show you what I picked up. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you everything that I bought. First, I got kind of sucked into this autograph box, $2 per card. So I picked out 10 autographs for 20 bucks. And then I picked out a card from the showcase as well. I'll show you everything I picked up at the end of the video. Next stop was the pen box. Yep, the pen box has their own stand. This is from Brickus Breaks. He's the owner of the pen box. And I spent $200 at his stand. He's got a lot of great cards here. We'll show you a little view of some of the stuff and some of these cards that you're seeing right now, I ended up picking up. We'll show you those at the end of the video. See Ozzy Smith rookie card right there. Tony Gwynn rookie. They had a whole bunch of, a whole row of great rookie cards right there. Went through all those and found some great ones. There's some that I picked out. You can see Jose Ramirez rookie on the front. Next up, we've got a nice showcase here. Look at those Mike Trout rookie cards. Diamond anniversary, beautiful. Mike Trout autograph with Shohei Otani. Gorgeous. You got a, another Mike Trout rookie card, Cognac right there. I would pick up one of the cards in this showcase can maybe try to guess which one it is. If you get it right at the end of the video, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. This one took a little negotiating to get this card, but I ended up not wanting to walk away because I wanted the card. And we see some other cards here. I would pick up one of the cards in this showcase as well. Kind of package deal, packaged with the other card. All right, so next up, lots of vintage, by the way, as you see those nice Hank Aarons. I just, I didn't buy anything from this showcase. I just wanted to show you Shohei Otani rookie cards. This guy had stacks and stacks of Otani and Trout rookies, or not rookies, well, yeah, rookies with Otani, but stacks of their autographs. Amazing stuff right there. That is not inexpensive stuff. Look at that Otani PSA 9 rookie auto. Amazing stuff at this card show. Next, I stopped off at the Main Street Hobby Table. Look at all those Otani rookies. I ended up picking up all of those. I'll tell you what I paid. I'll tell you what I paid for every card in the video, and I'll also tell you the grand total that I spent at the end as well. Main Street Hobby, great guys. They actually gave me a really cool freebie that I had to go back and pick up at the end of the card show. And then on my way out, I stopped off at the Coin Expo and picked up some coins because why not? So I'm gonna show you everything I picked up right now. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, everybody, I'm back at the card show. The Monroeville Show is a three-day event, 240 tables. So if you missed it today, you've got tomorrow. It's supposed to be a rainy day tomorrow. It would be a great day to go down there, give you something to do. And also it's going on on Sunday as well. So check it out, 240 tables, lots of different sellers. I purchased stuff from maybe eight or so different sellers. There's also a coin, big coin expo going on there as well. So let's go ahead and let me move some stuff around. And then we'll start going through everything and see what we have. All right, I guess we'll start off. I'll just go with this bag first since it's right in the middle. We've got a big old stack of cards right here in this was from Mr. Josh Brickus of Brickus Breaks, also the owner of the Pen Box. The grand total of cards here is gonna be $220. I offered him $200 and he accepted it, so 200 for this entire stack. I think you'll see some nice cards in here. First, we've got Justin Verlander's rookie card for 10 bucks, future Hall of Famer rookie card, have to grab that one. We've got a Kurt Gibson rookie card from 1981. Pretty good price on that one, just $3. I think that Freddie Freeman will be a future Hall of Famer as well, so I'm grabbing his rookie cards when I can. This one was 10 bucks. Tim Raines' rookie card from 1981, Don Russ, for just two. Raphael Devers' rookie card from Bowman's Best, that's a 2018. That one was only $3. And then Jose Ramirez, maybe one of the most underrated stars in all of baseball. Do you know how much I paid for this rookie card? Would you believe it was only a dollar? So I thought that was a fantastic deal for that 2014 Topps rookie. And then I love Hall of Fame rookie cards. It's one of my favorite things is finding Hall of Fame rookie cards from the 80s, 70s, 60s. Uh, the most affordable ones are from the 80s, obviously. Here's a really good deal. It's a Tony Gwynn, $9.83 Fleer. This one's a little off center. I'd probably call it 40 60 we also have the Ryan Sandberg rookie card as well. And there was a few of these, and the, the corners looked really sharp, so I grabbed them all. 
two more Ryan Sandbergs for 15 a pop and two more Tony Gwynn's for 15 each as well. And then there's a Don Mattingly, 84 Fleer. This one was $15 as well. It's a little bit down. I know the cut on this one is not super great, but hey, Don Mattingly, rookie card, had to take that one. So big stack of cards there. We'll just call that stack. I think it, that ended up being, I think, 103. So we'll call that 100 bucks. And then this stack here was 100 bucks as well. We have a 68 Tops Carl Yastrzemski. This one was $12. And after the little discount that I managed to work out, about 10 bucks for that card. Great deal there, I thought. We've got a Willie McCovey. That's a pretty high grade. 1978 Tops Willie McCovey Hall of Famer right there. This one was $10 on McCovey. And then. We have another Giants card here. This is one of the most iconic catches of all time when Willie Mays ran back on that ball, made that basket catch, running in the opposite direction. I think everybody is, at least knows about that play. If you're a big baseball fan, you've probably even tried to imitate it in the backyard. It's very tough to do. This one is a 59 tops. It's a PSA 3. This one was $25. And then I've never seen this one before. I figured I'd grab this one. We've got a couple guys that like to... Grab some Nolan Ryan cards in the auctions, and I thought this was a pretty cool one. A Nolan Ryan hand-cut card from 75 Hostess. It got a 7, which for a hand-cut card, that's pretty good. PSA 7, this one was 25 bucks. There's the back of the card. And then we've got Sandy Koufax. There's two of these. So I grabbed them both. Sandy Koufax, a Hall of Famer, of course, 1964 tops. The PSA 5 was $15, and the PSA 6 was 20 bucks. So $200 for that stack to start us off. I thought it was a pretty good deal for all that. You can let me know how you think I did in the comments. All right, next, there's another seller I bought from this guy last year. <laughs> he had a, uh, a um, charity called Cards for the Cure. And also really cool, he accepts PayPal, which makes things you know all the better for me because I, you know, I'm not walking around with thousands and thousands of dollars of cash. So I'll run out of cash fairly quickly at these card shows. So uh, this right here, these were $25 a piece. So right here we have 70 bucks in on this next seller. So two Shohei Otani rookie cards for just $10 a piece. Otani, man, he's just unworldly. One of the best, he might end up being one of the best players of all time when it's all said and done for what he's doing on both sides of the ball. He could win the MVP over the next six, seven years consecutively if he continues to be a top-notch starter and also pop 30 home runs a year. So I'm grabbing his rookie cards whenever I can. So those two from 2018 Stadium Club and 2018 Tops Update were just 10 bucks a piece. And here's these mystery bags. They were $25. I picked ones that didn't have labels because I was thinking maybe he put good stuff in these. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to like use reverse psychology. So I picked, they're, they're called Field of Dreams packs. They're $25 a piece. There was some chasers in these. I forgot to take a little video of the chaser um, lineup. But let's see what we have. And here we have a Mike Trout. Maybe this whole one will be a Mike Trout hot pack. Wouldn't that be nice? Mike Trout. It is a Mike Trout hot pack. How about that? That's pretty cool. A bunch of Mike Trout cards all together. And we have a Mike Trout Project 2020 card, rookie card as well, rookie reprint. That's not too bad for 25 bucks. I can say that I'm not disappointed with that. And here's our other one. The guy right before me, he pulled a Juan Soto rookie card out of his. So I was like, you know what? I would try that. Juan Soto. I, now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I felt this pack, and I felt a slab in there, and that's why I grabbed it. I felt a PSA slab in there. You can tell the BGS slabs from the, the uh, PSA slabs because the Beckett slabs are more bulky. So I'm, I'm guessing there's a PSA slab in here. And there we go. It's Hank Aaron, 2001. Darn it. I was all excited there. I saw an 8, a PSA 8, and a Hank Aaron. I thought for just a second we had like a nice high-grade, maybe 70s Hank Aaron card. All right, so let's see what we have. Johnny Bench, Luis Robert, Carlos Correa. Looks like there's cards on both sides. Clayton Kershaw gold. Clayton Kershaw, we've got Vladdy right there. Nothing too crazy yet. Bunch of insert cards. There's an Adley Rushman from 2020 and the Hank Aaron. Man, I hate it when people do that. Does anyone else hate that? When someone puts a big freaking sticker on the slab? That's the worst. At least... Team bag it up and then put the sticker on there. So when you peel that off, it's going to leave some awful residue 
on a PSA 8 of a 2001 Legendary Cut. It's not a very good pack right there, but still fun to try those from time to time. All right, next up, let's go with this one right here. Let's see if I can recall what I paid for this. I know people like to know what you paid for stuff. I don't blame you. All right, I paid $40 for the stack right here. This was 40 bucks for all of these. So what we've got, we've got a Roger Clemens rookie card for five. Basically, I got this one for free because I had $20 in on the autographs and $20 in on the Adam Wainwright. It is a Adam Wainwright certified, JSA certified minor league card, which is pretty awesome. So I figured I'd grab that one, potential future Hall of Famer. And then there was uh, $2 autographs. Can't beat $2 autographs. So since I was there right away, I got there. I went after work. The show opened at 3. I got there about 3.15, 3.20. So I don't think the box had been sorted through too much. And uh, you can see there's Luis Patino rookie card auto, Jake Cousin rookie auto. I tried to pick players that might be, uh, you know, decent. Tom Eshelman out of 150. So a parallel rookie auto. Grab that. Dom Smith auto. Colby Allard. Auto, Nick Solak, rookie auto, Reese McGuire, auto, Will Myers, rookie auto, Kyle Hurt, first Bowman from 2021, auto, and Francisca Mejia is the last one right there. There's a lot of players that aren't around anymore, so I skipped on those. All right, so that's that. What do we got next? I picked up some boxes. All of these were, I believe I offered $650 for these boxes, by the way. So I think they added up to 680. I offered 650, and they took it. And I was able to pay with PayPal as well, which is awesome because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to buy them. So you'll be seeing these boxes coming up for Throwback Thursday over the next couple weeks. We've got a Timelines box right here. I've never opened these before. There's only one listed on all of eBay, so these are really tough to find. The guy said he just picked up a big wax collection. Some of these, these were some of the boxes that were in there. So 04 timeline, you get four autographs and four game-used cards, and there's only four packs per box. So each pack will have an autograph and a relic in there. So um, this will be an interesting one to do. Maybe we'll do it this coming week. But uh, also interesting box design. It's kind of like, uh, like a, a, I don't know, roof or something. So there's that. Pick that one up. This box here, Bowman Chrome 2 from 1998. This one was $80. So virtually I got this one for about 50 bucks because I knocked $30 off. So we'll call this one uh, 50. That that timelines box I just showed you, that one was 400. I think the eBay price was like 450 on that. The only one that was listed. And we also have this one going after the Verlander rookie card. This is an 05 Bowman Chrome box, which would be pretty fun. Also going for exclusive autographs of A-Rod. So we've got some boxes set up now for some throwback Thursdays coming up soon. All right, what else do we have? All right, we'll go with the Main Street Hobby Guys. So if you've been following the channel for a long time, you might recall that name, Main Street Hobby in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. We've been in their shop. I think we've done two videos there. It's a nice hobby store. It's about an hour from here. I try to visit when I'm up that way. There's a lot of great card stores popping up all around. Main Street Hobby's been there for years. But uh, I can think of probably four nice card stores that I love that are up around the Johnstown area. You've got Juniata Cards in Altoona. Uh, they got an SGC in um, Altoona as well. Um, or is it SCG? SCG. Uh, what else? Uh, we've got the Main Street Hobby Guys. That's three. You've got Great Vintage Picks. That's four. 814 Card World. That's five. So you guys are killing it up there. Kind of wish uh, I could get up there more often. But anyway, they gave me a free case. An entire free case of cards. And we'll show you that here in a second. First, let's go through the singles. I went back... I had two transactions with them, so we'll start with this one. I believe this, um, let me see here, a bunch of Shoei Otani cards. I'll get the price here in a second. Uh, Shoei Otani rookie card. This is going to be his update for only $15. We have his um, Stadium Club rookie card as well. I like this one a lot, the 83 tops design. We've got the Shoei Otani gallery card and the Shohei Legends in the making card. So let me think, uh, 30 Plus, that's 50, 75, I think it was 90, and I got it for 80, I want to say. I think it was 80 bucks for all those, which is a pretty good deal for Otani rookie cards. I wasn't going to pass on those. So I think that was all the Otanis they had. I grabbed them all. I almost bought a Derek Jeter gold card as well. Very, very close. And then there was this stack as well. They had a bunch of vintage. 
And I want to say these were 50 bucks for all of these, I do believe. We'll show you pretty good prices there, of course. Hank Aaron, 1973. This one was $15 before the discount. Then Doug Drabeck, autograph. You don't see Doug Drabeck autographs all the time, so I grabbed that one from my PC. A J-Rod, by the way, the Drabeck was five. J-Rod first Bowman paper. J-Rod's been struggling a little bit, but that was $5. And then we have a prospect card here of Derek Jeter. Not only is it just his prospect card from 94 Upper Deck, it's the Electric Diamond Parallel, which makes it even better, and it was $6. You guys can see what's coming up. Mark Witten, it's a Desert Shield card, not the air. Some of you may, may have been prepping yourself to see his hand overlapping the border. But still, a Desert Storm card for just $4. Have to grab that one. Those are tough to come by. That's, uh, I can't remember the last time I saw one of those out at a card show. Vlad Jr. rookie card. That one was four bucks. Derek Jeter's rookie card from '93. That one was just six. We've got a '75 Nolan Ryan in great shape for just ten bucks. And then Reggie Jackson. This one, man, cut so clean. Sharp corners. What do you think the price on this one was? This is '73 early Reggie Jackson card. It was 10 bucks, so had to grab that one for sure. That, those were from Main Street Hobby. Again, I think that was $50. And then as a freebie, this is a pretty nice freebie right here. I got an entire case. We try to move it in here of Donruss. 48 count Donruss display packs. Let's show you these right now. So you can see they are the blister packs. I always call them blister packs. 48 of them that are these big, like almost kind of like rat packs. So really, really cool stuff right here. You can see they were 239 back in the day. So 48 of them, I'm figuring I will probably, I'm just gonna give these away. I don't know if I can fit them into some of your, um, maybe some of your packages that I send out. Maybe if somebody has like a medium flat rate box, one of those long boxes, I could slide one of those in there but you know those will be given away and again those are from the guys at main street hobby in johnstown pennsylvania check them out it's kind of like a big card store circle up there lots of great card stores i mentioned them already and make sure you put main street hobby into your rotation all right the best cards i saved for last my very last pickup get this case moved off the side it is pretty bulky and i do not want to knock anything off here i believe this is the last one. Oh, by the way before i show you the my my best card i think my favorite card that i picked up is in this box there's also a coin expo going on and when i was done i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna take a peek in there because believe it or not i used to collect coins as a kid i think i was like 10 or 11 years old i used to have the booklets and i used to put the quarters and the dimes and the nickels in there and try to get all the different years and the the different places they were minted at like denver or philadelphia and it was really fun i loved it for a little while until baseball card fever got the better of me and I took every single coin out of there, pulled it all together, and I went and bought baseball cards with it. Like, man, what an idiot. <laughs> I had some coins from like the 30s and stuff like that. Uh, I had, man, kind of wish I had those back, all those old coins. So I saw this coin expo and I was like, I'm going to go take a look in there. And uh, I bought some coins just for the heck of it. I used to have a whole booklet of Buffalo Head Nickels. I used to love Buffalo Head Nickels. Here's a 1935 one that was, I think it was like two bucks. And uh, I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So if, if any of you ever collected coins, you'll obviously recognize that one. Here's a full Liberty Head. I don't know much about Super Bowl coins, but, you know, an 1819 coin. We're, lo we're looking at a coin here that is over 200 years old, and it was 20 bucks. Can see the and the 1819 is visible on it as well. I guess that was a uh, one cent back then. Very very interesting. And we have a an 1893 for eight dollars. I don't even know what uh, cents these these are for nickels or or what. Um, I'm guessing that might be a quarter. And then we have an Indian head cent from 1894 for three bucks. So. Um, I also bought Robbie and Timmy a couple coins. I got all those for 30. I think they equaled 34, and I offered them 30, and they took it. But anyway, some coins. So, yeah, uh, I figured what the heck. Maybe this will be the start of a little coin side collection for me. But these are the best two. I tried to wheel and deal a little bit here. 
You're going to see a car in here that's $125. You're going to see another one's $250. So $375. I offer them $300 for both of them because the car that was $125, the prices are a little all over the price, all over the place. I saw is on the recently sold on eBay as low as $75, as high as like $164. So he didn't work with me too much, but here's what I picked up. And I've really wanted this card for a long time. It's the Luis Robert Gold Rookie Card. You've known, if you've watched my channel, that he's one of my favorite players. Been one of my favorite players for a long time. That interest has waned a little bit in the past year. I would always quote him as one of my favorite players, top three favorite players. He's still top ten. He's doing great this year, and I always wanted this card, but it was always so expensive. Now, his cards have come down. First, we got the Ricky Henderson. This is a PSA 7 for 125 So, in effect, I got this one. What did I offer for these? I, I got these both for 350 So, I got this one for 100 bucks. PSA 7 And the Luis Robert is a 10 And that's the one I always wanted. For a while there, I was after some 10s. And uh, I did get the Vlad Jr. in a PSA 10 I was going after the Juan Soto in a PSA 10 And thank goodness that I did not get the Juan Soto because uh, I offered $4,000 for it. Now that one Soto is worth like maybe a grand if you're lucky. So the PSA 10 Luis Robert, that one's going in the PC. I love that one. There is only, I, I like the parallel rookie cards. I, I like the gold ones. There's only 2,020 of those. There's not going to be more. There's not like the base cards where they print a million of them and the, that pop count can keep going up pretty regularly. Nope, not with the gold cards. It's pretty much set. I mean, they might add a couple here and there throughout the years, but PSA 10, Luis Robert for 250 I thought that's a great price. He's leading the American League in home runs right now. I figure right now is a great time to buy it because it hasn't really seen that big bump yet. He's been hot for about a week or two. Now, if he continues on and he's he hits 25 home runs by the All-Star break and is in the home run derby, wins the home run derby, this card's probably going to double in value, potentially. But uh, for 250 I couldn't pass on that. And the Ricky Henderson, I love this card. Whenever I see a Ricky Henderson rookie, I'm always interested. So all together, for everything that I picked up, I spent $1,440, $1,440. I thought it was a pretty good haul. The majority of that was in the $650 for those wax boxes. We'll be opening those for Throwback Thursday. But a pretty good day at the Monroeville Card Show. Go check it out. And also, there's another. There's a sister card show right across the street in the Monroeville Mall. I think that one has about 40 tables, so you can hit both of them. I didn't have time to go to both today because I had to uh, get to Timmy's baseball game, which they won, 11-1 to 1 by Mercy Rule. So, a great day. And that's all I have for you today. We have the Saturday Showdown Box Wars coming tomorrow, so you can sign up for that. I haven't posted it on Patreon yet. I'll post it tonight with the different rounds. And if you'd like to get into that, you can just go ahead and read the uh, the availability, availability list and see what we've got and then just send the money over and we'll get you added on the master list and we'll break all those rounds tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Friday night and a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.